Hello, I'm Ryan with Mount Comfort RV. I was a technician that did the demo, the prep, and all the work on the unit here. So I'm gonna walk you around and show you a few things on it. On the front here, we have LP tanks located underneath this cover. Cover slides off. There's two 30 pound LP tanks, which are full. Electric tongue jack, docking light, extend and retract and then you do have a deep cycle battery a new interstate deep cycle battery there and a disconnect switch underneath that to shut off power to the whole unit on this side over here we have storage power cord jack crank handle for the jacks which are located on your front and rear corners. Underneath here, we have a sewage dump, black handles for the black tank. Back here's your gray tank, gray handles for the gray tank, and terminates here. Water heater is located next to that. It's an Atwood water heater, so all there is is a drain plug outside. Drain plug's located here and just screws into this hole here. Right now it's winterized, so we leave those out. Uh, that's all there is in here, everything else is service. Fresh water connection for your fresh water holding tank. You can hook a hose up to it and that will pressurize the system off the garden hose, uh, give you pressure throughout the whole unit. Underneath that, you have a low point drain for your hot and cold and then a drain for the actual freshwater holding tank right here. The gravity feed for that freshwater holding tank is located right here. Stick a hose in there and just fill it up till it fills and that'll fill the holding tank. It is a 30 amp unit, has a short cord that'll plug in here and then plug it into the pedestal at the campground. Cable and satellite input next to that. Refrigerator is located behind this panel here. It's just for service. Does have your plug for the 110. Everything else is mainly for service. Towards the back, you have the rear stabilizing jack. Exterior vents for the inside. If you're hauling anything with fuel in it, keep the fumes out. Rear door, fairly simple to operate. Um, on this side, you have the rear stabilizing jacks and your power awning. Exterior speakers, LED awning light. Uh, your entry door, of course. And the steps, which just fold up. Back out of the way. And the last thing on this side would be your exterior 110 plugs. Now we'll go back to the back and I'll open the door. Show you how the ramp door works. So you just unlatch it. Go to the other side. Unlatch that. Pull the door down to you. just rest on the ground there that gives us access to loading the toys that you may have inside here I'll start with the back we have one 10 volt outlet a secondary fire extinguisher there's also gonna be one by the entry door the exterior vents for fumes are located here that We'll just open and allow airflow while you travel. You do have a screen door that comes down, screens off the inside, of course, and that just rolls back up. Your couches fold up against the wall, 
for loading any of the toys you may have and then they just strap unstrap them and you can lay them down it has legs that you'll want to extend to support the bed That will lay into a bed. This side does the exact same, lays into a bed. Makes one big bed here. You do have windows behind both of them with the emergency exit and shades. On this wall next to the refrigerator, you have a place for a TV with hookups for your antenna and DVD. And you just mount it there on the wall. The DVD player is located over next to the fridge and it is wired to the TV so you just have to put a DVD in and it will play. The refrigerator, the controls on the refrigerator are right here, really simple, just turn it on and it will automatically find electric or gas depending on what you have available. If it goes to amber it means it's gone on gas, if it goes to red it means it's out of fuel or the fuel is not on. Press and hold to shut it off. You have travel locks on the handles and on the freezer handle. The converter, fuses, and breakers are all located underneath the fridge. They are all labeled. Your 110 are here. AC, GFI, microwave, refrigerator, water heater, and converter. And then over here is all your 12 volt fuses and they're all labeled as well. If one of these fuses blow, it will show with a red light will illuminate and show you which fuse is blown. Next to that is the carbon monoxide propane alarm. So if there's carbon monoxide or propane gas leaking, it will alert you to that. We have the tank, water pump, switches right here so to test the tank you would just hold the test button it shows you your battery level shows your fresh water level black tank level and gray tank level from empty to full next to that would be the water pump switch you would just turn the turn the switch on it tells you the pumps on light for your cooktop and fan for the cooktop on the cooktop you'll have to go over to high light use a long lighter and light them off the burner Microwave is located above that, it has a turntable in it. Other than that, it's standard microwave. You do have controls here for your water heater. This one here is for your LP side. This is for your electric side. You would just flip the switch. It would go to light. Uh, if this light stays on, it means that you're out of fuel. The fuel's off, that it did not light. It's a fault light. So you'll want to reset it, check your fuel. Uh, on this side, we have several light switches. Uh, one of them is going to be the inside light, the awning light for outside, step light, and I believe that is for the back cargo light. Awning switch is right here. Extend and retract. It's a power awning, so you just make sure nothing's in the way. Extend it until it's fully extended, and that's all there is to it. You don't want it out when it's raining or when it's very windy you want to make sure to retract that um, you have a dinette table located here it does have legs on it so you could take it wherever you'd like to place it and then the main bed thermostat control for your furnace is located in the bed you will just select a temperature and it'll maintain it when you shut it off make sure it snaps in the off position In the restroom, you have a good sized shower, uh, foot flush on the toilet, and hot and cold on the sink. You do have an exhaust vent and fan above that. And then there are some speakers throughout. 
in the ceiling which will be controlled from the DVD player which also does stereo, Bluetooth and a few other neat features. I uh, definitely recommend reading the manual on this to learn how to do all those. Your inside and outside zones are right here. One, two. So you can select what side you want. And that looks like that's about everything. Uh, if you have any more questions or need anything else, please let me know. And again, this is Ryan with Mount Comfort RV. Thank you.